Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike here, and welcome to my review of One Punch Man Season 1, Episode 2. So let's get right into this. The, the plot. A monster is moving towards City Z. One that has created... That one that has been created by a mysterious organiza organization known as the House of Evolution. Genos, a young cyborg, attempts to stop it, but gets... But gets in over his head before Saitama happens along. Yeah, Saitama just happens, guys. Alright, so let's just get into the good. Saitama versus the, the mosquito. Um, Saitama is watering a cacti. Or cactus, excuse me, sorry. Blech. And, um, and a mosquito just flew by him. And it really annoyed him. They had it was just a really fun. It was just really funny trying to see him slap it. The strongest man alive couldn't kill a mosquito for until like I don't know five minutes, probably. Um, mosquito girl's design. Um, it's very unique to say the least. Um, yeah. Genos as a character and his design looks very cool. I personally enjoy Genos. He's a cool character. Genos vs. the Mosquito Girl is also a very entertaining fight to watch as well. Mosquito Girl goes badass mode during the fight, which makes her OP as fuck until, well, until you know who. Gen Genos' reaction to Saitama living after his blast is just very neat to see. And kind of, and very entertaining to see also as well. And then Saitama one punches Mosqui Mosquito Girl. And then, and then after th after that, Saitama says, "Quote, bugs, they suck." That best line ever. Ten out of ten. IGN. That's actually a very nice pun. I like it. And then Genos becomes Saitama's disciple. Disciple. There you go. Yeah, English guys. <laughs> And okay, so Genos and Saitama are chilling at Saitama's apartment, and uh, and Genos tells Saitama, "That's odd. You appear to be. That's odd. You appear to way too young to already be bald." Then Saitama replies in anger, "So I'm bald. What's your problem?" And then Genos goes over his problems. His backs, his sort of generic anime backstory guy. I like Genos, but yeah. But before Genos, but before Genos does that, Saitama's like, Genos is like, um, wait, you want to know my problem? Saitama's like, um, you know what? No thanks. Genos' backstory is alright, though it does seem cliche, but though I do, I believe it was meant to be that way, because Saitama, or just one punch man in the anime, so they go against anime tropes and call them out. And me, a funny thing, me and Saitama, I'm sure other v uh, viewers had this reaction, me and uh, possibly other viewers had the same reaction to Genos' backstory as Saitama. It was just, yeah. S Alright then, Saitama one punches the man mantis monster, then says, you're going to pay for my ceiling. Because you know what, ceilings are very expensive to replace man, or repair. Jesus Christ, man. These monsters have, like, zero consideration. Saitama body gets pulled underground. He's like, it's weird being underground. He's like, it's cold, cold yet warm. Channel forces armored gorilla. Um, yeah. Don't want to bring any other particular gorilla gorillas involved in this one. Saitama's reaction to the Beast King. Um, the, the monster's reaction to Saitama walking out of the ground was pretty, pretty funny and entertaining just to watch. Um, drink break. <clears throat> there we go. Nice and hydrated. Saitama. Saitama doesn't care what Beast King has to say, and he heck, e even B Beast King stops while Saitama's like, hold on, I gotta clean my belt. He's like, are you done? He's, Saitama's like, yeah, that's another, just give me another minute. <coughs> oh, God. Hmm. Saitama versus Beast King was an entertaining fight, to say the least. 
And now that fight, we got to see Saitama's attack known as consecutive normal punches. Which is a very cool attack, and with the animation, you know what, with the animation of this show and how high quality it is, it is mixed with some One Punch Man's unique anime art style. I know, has its, I consider it as its kind of own art style in a way. I, it's just, really. It really, okay, almost at, about, I'm gonna say at least 95% of the fight story looked nice in the show. So I tell, <laughs> and then the, like this, m the mole, or, Monster guy tries drilling out of the to get away from Saitama, but Saitama's face is underground. Now this face is the thumbnail of the video. If you look at it, it is really the face is funny yet creepy to me. I don't know. It's just really a delight to see. It's, I don't know how I feel about it though. <coughs> armored gr armored gorilla's reaction to seeing Saitama holding Beast King's eye because he's like you know. Please, Cyborg, you'll never be able to beat me. If you took this long to beat me, you'll never be able to beat Beast King, who's the strongest. Because I'm like second strong, third strongest. I mean, he's like second strongest, I guess. And at the end of the episode, it's revealed that Armored Gorilla was doing a the robot voice to sound cool all along. Excuse me. That's really neat. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I took another drink break. Alright, bad. Now, there's only one thing I think that's bad about this episode. And this one, I don't know, some people might enjoy this. Me, But me personally, I did not enjoy this at all. It's when the mosquitoes were eating, were eating that, the random man alive on the street. And it just was creepy and gory. And I didn't like it. Uh, it's just a personal thing, so take it with a hint of salt, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. I just didn't like it. All right, here's a nice fun fact for you. The, Engl the English voice of Saitama, Max Milterman, think I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that last name right. Voice King from the Seven Deadly Sins dub, which is an anime I watch and and I also recommend it. It's on Netflix right now. Go check it out. And I might review that anime in the future. Who knows? And anyways, let's just get to this episode's rating. I give it an 8.6 out of 10. It's a great episode overall. Um, I kind of still prefer episode 1 over it, but still. It's just still a great episode to watch. Anyways, yeah, um, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed the review. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, Meister out.